Once upon a time, I used to own a rather large real estate brokerage. And during those 10 years, almost every single day, a real estate agent who worked with the brokerage would come to me and say, Hey, Dan, I am working with this buyer and this happened. I'm working with a buyer and the deal blew up or they decided to not continue working with me or whatever the case may be. I, I, I'm working with this buyer and we've gone out to 117 homes. What do I do? And these are some of the challenges that I would see on a day-to-day -day basis. And I observe them as being reactive. And so instead of being reactive, through that experience and through my own personal sales, that's where the 80-20 buyer consultation was created from or at least the idea to create it. And so what I've created is a consultation that is proactive instead of reactive that will allow for you to solve the problems before they occur, to set the expectations of the predictable problems that may occur. And when something does go a little bit wacky, that you're able to refer back to a conversation that you had previously. Now, I'm going to encourage for you to print out the checklist of conversations. I'm going to review each one of those conversations through the next uh, through the next few steps here and print that checklist out so that you have it beside you on your desk or wherever you're watching this so that you can know exactly where I am in the process and you can see exactly what conversation that I'm discussing with you and then you'll understand how you can have that same conversation. When you start working with buyers, or you're, you're probably already working with buyers, but on your next buyer, also print out that checklist, put it into a folder, and that checklist will go with the folder of the buyer who you're working with and check off the conversations that you have with the buyer. That will allow for you to be certain that you set their expectations properly to avoid those predictable problems in the future. Now, I want you to trust me that this process works when you work it. It doesn't work when you only do a piece of it or when you do it out of order. So pay attention. This is going to be the most valuable tool that you've learned in real estate, at least with uh, working with buyers. So good luck and um, have fun learning. Thank you.